any idea what those numbers represent? Well, let me remind you, if you remember from the chromosome numbers of a human being, from the previous slides, a human Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and do not forget to subscribe. Um, other than this channel, we also have um, another channel called Fanny and Jesse. I saw somewhere in the comments or someone was asking, I guess people are still wondering why Jesse and I are not posting together. You can actually find a video on why we're not doing that, but of course it's nothing bad. And that's Fanny and Jesse to went on on YouTube. Also, we have a podcast called Diving In with Fanny and Jesse. Other than podcasts, we've got a Patreon. I said we're going to start posting this year, and we really, really mean that. So you guys should check it out. Jesse also has his own personal channel called called Jesse Keegan and yeah just make sure to check it out and subscribe to his channel. You can also find us on social media on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse and you can actually communicate with us there or through our private social media and we'll respond back. Thank you to everyone that's been suggesting and suggesting reactions commenting, interacting with us, asking us how we're doing, and just subscribing to the channel. We appreciate all that you guys are doing for us. It's big for us. So yeah, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Now there are some mathematical miracles of the Quran. <sighs> Throughout all the Quran, if you count some specific words, you will come across to a very, to very mi meaningful results. I would like to give you some examples. For instance, if you count the word punishment in the Holy Quran, throughout the whole Quran, it is repeated some 117 times. Whereas the word forgive is repeated some 234 times inside the whole Quran. 234, if you multiply 117 by 2, you're going to have 234. It is very meaningful. Why? Because Quranic morality, Allah recommends, Allah orders believers, Allah orders Muslim, Muslims to forgive rather than punishing. It is very meaningful. Moreover, Allah orders to our Prophet, say, it is repeated some 332 times. And the response, they said, it is again equally repeated some 332 times. The words world and, and hereafter, they are repeated 115 times equally. Devil and angel, those two words are equally repeated some 88 times. Now, heaven and hell, those two words are equal, equally repeated 77 times. Zikah. Zakah is an Arabic word, its translation is donation. The financial donation that a Muslim is supposed to give to poor. And it is repeated 32 times. And the barakah, the blessing that comes out of giving a donation to a poor, it is repeated 32 times. It is equally repeated. It is very meaningful again. Now, summer, hot, and winter cold, those words are equally repeated five times. And richness and poverty, those two words, it is very interesting. Rich, richness is repeated 26 times, whereas the poverty is half of 26, which is 13. And woman and man, those are repeated equally 23 times. Well, do you know any idea what those numbers represent? Well, let me remind you, if you remember from the chromosome numbers of a human being, from the previous slides, a human body contains 46 different chromosomes. That comes the half of this 46, which is 23, comes from the father. And the other half, which is 23, comes from the mother. Whereas, you got the same repetition number for woman, woman and man. 23 and 23. 
if you add 23 to 23, you're going to have 46, which will give you the chromosome number of a human being. Now, finally, I would like to give you the meaning of land and sea. Land is repeated 13 times, whereas the word sea repeated 32 times. Well, at first sight, it doesn't seem to be very meaningful. However, if you do a simple math, you're going to have 13. If you add 32, you're going to have 45 as for the result. And the percentages, if you divide 13 to 45, you're going to have 28,88%. And 32 to 45, as for the word C, you're going to have 71,11%. Now, do you have any idea what those percentages represent? Well, I'll tell you, those numbers will give you the, all the lands all over the world on the earth occupies 28,88% of the whole earth. And all the seas, oceans, rivers, all the water occupies 71,11% of the whole earth. Now again, these repetition numbers are very meaningful and it clearly represents us and gives us good scientific evidences that the Holy Quran is word of Allah. And it cannot be, definitely can't be, a scripture of a man. This is not possible. So, for more information, I would highly recommend you to visit HarunYahya.com. And in HarunYahya.com, you will see that all the information about the miracles of the Quran, uh, of course, since we are limited of time, we could just put here like uh, 20, 30 of them. However, if you visit and read the miracles of the Quran, the word miracles of uh, uh, the book Miracles of the Quran from Harun Yahya, you will see that there are more than 120, 130 different scientific evidences for the miracles of the Quran. And all those informations are free, free to download, free to duplicate, free to distribute, and for your use for the cause of Islam. Thank you very much for listening. I personally have never reacted to such um, a video, the mathematical miracle of Quran. This is something new to me and it's impressive. Although I don't like acting intelligent, that's why I'm always asking questions. A person who is willing to learn actually learns more than someone who acts like they know everything. So what's the symbolic meaning behind this or what the, rather what's the meaning behind this <clears throat> video I'm intrigued by how certain things are the same and some are double that does it mean those things like man and woman are both was it 23 so what does that say about women and men does it mean what equal beings does it mean I don't know that although I found mind blowing the example he gave about sea and land that blew my mind off. I'm like, wow, that's just insane. That's when there is another example he gave. Although I'm wondering, these other examples he's giving of let's say maybe one is lower and one is higher, maybe poverty and richness. Richness is up there and poverty is down there. Does it mean we can tackle poverty or does it mean even though we're suffering now or you may be rich now, there's still more riches awaiting for you in the world after this, life after this. There was also another example that he gave of, was it earth and year after, something like that. The difference was amazing. So what's that supposed to say? What's the Quran trying to tell us? I should be asking. Otherwise, I'm impressed with the figures he was giving and how some are double what he was talking about and some half of that. I'm just amazed by the math behind all this. Please let me know. Or does it mean that the good outweighs the bad when things are double something that's under here? any reactions like this maybe that explain more 
about the meaning behind these things please let me know and it's funny how all these things and certain things like words that are the same number what's that supposed to mean can please someone educate me so let me know what you feel about this video and please help me understand more let me know how you feel about my reaction and please don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends and i'll see you in my next reaction video